You're with Dominic Brazil, who'll be fighting Anthony and Joshua on June 25th. You'll be fighting for the IBF Heavyweight Championship of the World. Talk to us about getting that title shot. Uh, you know, being, being blessed enough to get a title shot like like so, IBF heavy, you know, heavyweight title, is, uh, it's been phenomenal, man. It's uh, I'm still thinking about it every single day. I'm, I'm asking myself, hey, is this being real? Is you know, is am I still living a dream? Um, so it's phenomenal, man. It's uh, it's been a blessing in disguise. Um, it's one of those situations that you know you train day after day, night after night uh, to, to to be blessed with, and, and uh, fortunately, uh, I'm doing so. Now, the consensus in the boxing world have Joshua as the heir apparent to the next great heavyweight champion of the world. They say, he, you know, he has the, all the right physical attributes. He's got the size. He's got the power. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? And are you going to prove everybody wrong? Uh, I'm definitely going to prove everybody wrong, man. Uh, it's, it's one of those situations. Anthony Joshua hasn't proven anything to me. Um, you can't go off of, you know, statistics, paperwork, you know, physical image or whatnot. At the same time, he hasn't really fought anybody who's, who's exposed him like I'm going to do so. Um, I'm going to show show the world and shock the world and let, let them know that all those muscles and, and speed are, are nothing when it comes to, you know, having to bite down and fight, man. Uh, you, you can have, you know, big shoulders, big biceps, you know, fast reflexes. This is all that. As soon as you get punched in the mouth, like Mike Tyson said, the game plan changes and uh, that's what I plan on doing. He's undefeated just like you. However, he has won every fight by knockout. Do you think the power is real? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, if you if you told me he knocked out somebody who had never been knocked out before, then I would say, yeah, the power is real. But he hasn't done that yet. What What are your thoughts on the fight uh, between him and Charles Martin? Terrible man. Uh, you know, I, it, it's to a point where I'm just very, very disgusted in Charles Martin's performance. Uh, he, you know, like like I told you know everybody before in the past. You know, I think Anthony Joshua broke a bigger sweat in the back locker room than he did in the actual bout itself. Um, you know, f to have a, a minute to a minute, you know, a, a round to a round and a half of uh, you know uh, progress in a heavyweight bout is it's unfortunate, especially when we're talking about two champions going at it. Um, it's just uh, it was very disappointing. Uh, you guys are both Olympians. He won the gold medal. You represented the U.S. What did you learn from your amateur days? Uh, I learned that I'm not an amateur fighter, man. Uh, yeah, one of those situations where I, you know, I'm you know, considered a knockout artist. I'm a pressure fighter. You know, I, I put a lot of uh, combinations and punches together. Um, in the amateurs, it was at, at the time when I was fighting, it was all about scoring points and you know, not necessarily imposing your will on a fighter, uh, whereas professional boxing is. And uh, it's one of those things. You know, it was unfortunate to go over and, and not you know, medal in, in the Olympics, but at the same time, it was a great experience. And before becoming a professional fighter, did you always have those dreams, those aspirations of becoming heavyweight champion? Um, I wouldn't say so, man. It wasn't, uh, you know, I started boxing real, real late. Uh, I started at the age of 23, uh, but as soon as I realized that I had the ability to, to, to fight, you know, in the pros and, and be, a, you know, a, a competitor for this, I definitely believe so. I, you know, when I put myself in one direction and I say, hey, I'm going to go be the heavyweight champ, that's, uh, in the end, it's usually what happens. What do you do better than Anthony Joshua? Everything. Everything. I, I'm more calm, composed. Um, I sit down, my punches real, real well. Um, I've got a, a great, beautiful jab that I'm able to put in all different angles. Um, I put punches and bunches and uh, combinations. And uh, the thing I think I, I do the best is uh, I'm able, you know, I'm able to take a shot and, and give a shot, man. Uh, when you, you find that in a fighter, that's something that can't be taught, um, and it's something that I'm, I'm learning not necessarily to use, but I'm using it my own will. Now you are the underdog. Are you going to use that to your advantage? Oh yeah, definitely. My back's against the wall, man. Uh, you know, you you backed up a vicious dog into a corner. There's only one way for me to go. And uh, talk to us about the passing of Muhammad Ali. Uh, Muhammad Ali, man, uh, you know, one of the greatest, uh, if not the greatest of all time. Uh, you know, he's touched generations and generations. He's touched very, very different, various sports um, from, you know, acting entertainers to, you know, basketball players and boxers. Um, it's one of those situations that, you know, I was able to learn a lot from him, watching some of his footage in the past. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was, I'm glad to, to have been able to walk this earth at the same time that he did. Now, do you think it's possible that you can actually win a decision or do you have to go for that knockout? Well, I, you def I definitely got to go for the knockout. I, I can't have any kind of mindset in my mind at all that I'm going to go there and win a decision, not in his backyard, not after, all, you know, the type of following and backing that he has. Do you have any final words for your fans out there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for all the support, man. It's going to be a great, tough, hard fight. Uh, you know, fight. Uh, I camp's going great. You know, body feels good. Uh, we got a ton of confidence, and I just can't wait to, to show it all off. Thank you, Dominic. Always a pleasure. Good luck to you. Thank you.